Hi, gang. This is Stan Lee. What do you say we take a little trip just to keep the whole company? Here we are in Paris, home of the mighty Arc de Triomphe, the famous Eiffel Tower, and, of course, the ancient, mysterious cathedral, which was the home of one of fiction's most grotesque characters, Quasimodo, the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> One of the most vivid childhood memories I have is taking the bus with my older sister to the downtown area where I grew up, where I would rent the animated Marvel Adventures at the video store. It was always so exciting to hear Stan Lee's voice narrate some of those adventures. His voice would lead me into a larger world, where for a little while you could forget your own. Now that voice that led me to those larger worlds has passed away at the age of 95. Stan Lee was taken by ambulance from his Los Angeles home to Cedar sinai Medical Center, where he later died. His impact in the world of comics can't even begin to be put into words. He was most well known for the character of Spider-Man that he co-created with Steve Ditko. The character was one of the most relatable superheroes ever created. Stan Lee for many years was the face of Marvel. Even right up until the end, he was forever linked to the company. That he helped to make so great. The loss to the world of comics and pop culture is great, for Stan Lee was universally loved by all comic fans. I don't know if there is an afterlife, but if there is, rest in peace Stan Lee, for you were a real true believer. I'm Stan Lee, co-author of How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, and creator of Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, and a whole caboodle of other comic book characters that my legendary modesty prevents me from mentioning. Now, I'll be your host and guide as we journey together along the rambunctious road to comic book artistry, which is to say it looks like we're stuck with each other for the next little while.